Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us today. Our guest in studio is returning to talk with us, Dr. Art Caperald. Dr. Caperald is president of Concepts for Health Incorporated. He's also a health and healing expert, teacher, and lecturer with more than 20 years of teaching experience in the classroom, um, a chiropractic clinician for student interns, public and private workshops, lecturers, and and much, much more. Also, um, with more than 12 years as a consultant to the world's leading authority on the use of therapeutic and and nutrient-dense foods. He's uh, returning with us to talk about some of the training that's available for doctors in the use of whole food nutrition. Welcome back to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Caparald. Hi, Neil. Thanks for having me back. Thank you. Uh, As the president of uh, Concepts for Health, where is Concepts for Health uh, located? Is it a a single uh, location or are you uh, branching out in more locations across the nation? That's a great question. I'm actually, I actually have an office in Fresno now, but one of our long-term goals is to create a, a healing retreat or a health retreat that uh, is almost like a, a student clinic where people come to get care, but also doctors come to learn how to care for the patients. And so that's that's one of our long-term visions that we're really excited about. Now, when you're talking about doctors coming to learn how to better care for patients, are we talking about uh, traditional practitioners, practitioners, uh, nature, naturopaths, or chiropractics, or uh, just anyone who is interested in giving better care to their patients? Any, as long as you have a, a degree that you can see patients, mm-hmm. uh, it could be mm-hmm. acupuncture, medical, chiropractic, naturopathic, um, it, it really doesn't matter. It's as long as you want to learn how to use these these things that we're teaching mm-hmm. to support and care for your patients. That's all that we're concerned about. How, um, as a doctor of chiropractic, uh, you're dealing with um, body structure, uh, the organs, um, adjusting your patients. How important is nutrition when it comes to you know the aches and pains that we have? It's very important. I mean, the I view that as nutrition are the building blocks for each cell. And so cells need nutrients to function properly and divide and propagate properly. Mm-hmm. And so uh, when people have the thought that it doesn't matter what you eat, um, it just it, it, there. There's other things that are important. Mm-hmm. You have to have the basic components to support the amazing amount of uh, reactions that actually occur you know, within the body every second. And so, uh, you know, myself and many of my colleagues have seen miracles happen just by supporting the body in that specific way. Mm-hmm. I'm not a, a healthcare practitioner myself, but I've learned and come to believe that doctors get very little training in nutrition as they're going through medical school. I'm talking uh, traditional practitioners. Um, yeah. With you being so involved in, in proper diet, uh, nutrition, nutritional supplements, uh, nutrient-dense foods, um, how are you involved in training doctors when it comes to the use of, of whole food nutrition or other uh, food sources? That's a great question. I I was fortunate enough. Uh, my first mentor got me involved with an organization called the International Foundation for Nutrition and Health, and that's ifnh.org. Um, and they teach what a lot of the nutritional pioneers taught us uh, in the beginning of why nutrition is, is so important. And what's fascinating is that many of the nutritional pioneers were dentists. And the reason that they were the pioneers is because they saw, they started to see a shift in tooth decay in the general public. Because prior to the industrialization of food, the average number of cavities per per person, it was one cavity per thousand teeth, I hear. And now almost everybody has a cavity. Mm -hmm. And so they started to see a shift in that, and they wanted to know why. So they started looking at the food they were eating, and then that bled over into health and how, you know, specific health and disease issues. So uh, this this organization, the International Foundation for Nutrition and Health, are the ones that started the process of teaching me how foods 
how diet and lifestyle, how specific whole food supplements can support specific organ systems. And I grew so much with that that I started to teach for them. And then I became a mentor for them. And now I, I volunteer my time occasionally helping them. Um, and when they actually have in-person lectures, um, there's, there's two ways that they teach. They have a whole food certification program where you can become um, certified in whole food nutrition um, that is done via mail. They, they have workbooks and they have uh, webinars that they use every week and it's a really good system and then you get a specific degree for as a clinical nutritionist um, in, in, in whole food nutrition. They also have in-person lectures and I teach different aspects of those as well. Um, and so it's, it's really a phenomenal organization to be able to get your feet wet and start the process of really learning how diet and lifestyle and whole food nutrition can support a person in health. In, in your experience, what is it that, um, you know, when you're talking to folks that are participating in some of this training, uh, what is it that you're hearing prompts them to look into the nutritional value in the first place, uh, as opposed to being, you know, just, you know, write a prescription, here's a pill, go on to the next one. What, in your opinion, right. have you heard that motivates people to learn more about healthy nutrition? Well, it's, it shifted a little bit. I mean, in the beginning, it was that they weren't getting some of the results that they, they thought that they could or should, you know, just like me within my chiropractic practice. Uh, but now there's, there's a lot more information out there about nutrition and it can be confusing to a lot of people. And when they start to understand food in particular, as opposed to many supplements, because there's a lot of people that take supplements. Most of the population takes some type of supplement. The problem is that they're, they're synthetic in nature. And so when they start to see that they're prescribing their, their patients these supplements, and they're not doing anything for them. Um, they want to know why. Mm -hmm. And so but by using supplements that are actually made from whole foods, uh, actually gives the body another way to support. And we could go into a two hour conversation yeah. you know, on that, unfortunately, but um, that's, that's the second you know, biggest reason is first, they, they don't get the results that they would normally get through the traditional care that they're giving. And secondly, when they do prescribe supplements, they're not getting the results from those because they're using synthetic or fractionalized versions of the whole food complex. Okay, Art, one, one last question. Uh, you're involved in, in training these uh, physicians who may have little or no nutritional training in, in their medical uh, school uh, experience. How much of what you do is um, changing the way that a practitioner thinks about information that they've already received at some point in their career? Um, you know, is it just presenting the information and letting it speak for itself? Or is there a process of actually changing the way that practitioners think about this information that's presented to them concerning nutrition? That's a really, really good question. Um, most of the docs that come in are open-minded enough to be looking for something new anyways. Um, so we have an open door as it is with them because their, their mind's already open to that shift. Uh, when we present how the testing that we do correlates with specific organ systems mm -hmm. and where that testing originated from, because a lot of the tests that the International Foundation for Nutrition and Health teaches are old medical tests that aren't used anymore. Huh. And so... It's, you know, as technology has grown and um, things have shifted, we don't use a lot of the old observation tests that you know, we used to use a long time ago. And so that in itself provides some validity because it's old medical tests that they just weren't taught anymore. And so we couple that with some of the new things that we found out and show how these specific organ systems are 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 the cause of why these tests are out of balance. And we actually bring people up and check them to show them, first of all, how to do the test. And then each participant is a, is a patient. 
So it, it because it's usually a multi weekend situation. And so they they get some testing done and then they have to follow the recommendations that the other doc has created for them so they can see the benefits directly on themselves. And so that's just like being a patient, which is phenomenal because it shows them how the things work and why they work. So there's a well-rounded understanding from both uh, both aspects, the patient and the provider. Excellent. I, I think that's critical, yes. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us today, Dr. Caperald. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in studio with Dr. Art Caperald, president of Concepts for Health Incorporated, also a practitioner with 12 years uh, or more as a consultant to the world's leading authority on the use of therapeutic and nutrient-dense foods, plant and granular concentrates and extracts, as well as phytonutrients and phytochemicals. And we've been in studio this afternoon talking about some of the training that's available for doctors on the use of whole foods and and uh, other nutritional um, information that they may not have uh, been exposed to. It's been great having you here with us today. Thanks for having me, Neil. Have a great day. You do the same. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm, and you can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes.